Hello everyone, welcome to Jira Training. In this tutorial, we will learn how to clone test cases in Jira. In previous tutorial, I have explained how you can add new test cases in Jira using the Zephyr plugin that we have installed already. So in this tutorial, we'll see how you can clone the test cases and what's the advantage of cloning the test cases. To start with, um, just go to the header at the top and browse to the tests tab and click on search tests. So it will list all the test cases that have been created in that particular project. So I've selected Moomba project at the moment so I can see four test cases that have been created, right? So now if you open one of the test cases, you'll see the clone button available here. Right. So since you can see that this test case is very you know, like high level verify admin user can log into Moomba web portal. So there might be possibility that or there would be definitely you know, like there are admin logins or there are member logins, but the steps overall for that particular test case remain same. So there will be you know, like minor tweaks and changes in the steps and in the description but you don't need to rewrite the whole test case again. So that's where the clone feature is really, really helpful when you are creating test cases or uh, which are, you know, kind of similar uh, description or similar, you know, like amount of steps and all. Other advantages for any UI related issue, you will have, you know, like first one or two um, uh, steps pretty common for most of the test cases that you write so okay so if you clone these test cases and then update remaining five or six steps or whatever steps whatever number of steps your test cases has then you are still saving a lot of time and effort by doing the clone of the test cases so to clone the test case just click on the clone button here and it will give you an option to clone um, the test case and there are options to clone the links or clone sprint value as well if you select clone links then it will clone all the links that are present in the in this current test case so for example you have link for the story you have link for the epic um, so any link any link defects for this test case then all those links will be cloned as well if you select clone sprint value then it will clone the sprint value in this particular test case as well. So I'll select both and then click on create. It will say clone issue. It's still doing, it's pretty a uh, bit, bit slow. So now it's loaded. So now you can see clone verify admin. So it has cloned it. So now you can update, go ahead and update the test case. So you can say verify member user can log into the web portal so for member you just need to change one word here you need to the first step will be almost same here the second step you just need to provide member username and password provide member username and password and change this to member all right and update so now you can see all the links that were there previously are there also the sprint value is there in the clone test case and in no time you have written another test case you just modified a couple of things in in the admin test case and use the same test case to create your member test case so that is that is pretty much all about cloning test cases in Jira. In next tutorial, we will learn how to search test cases and do bulk changes to the test cases. Thank you.